Hello guys and welcome to today's video. So um, typically what you end up finding on my channel is either airsoft related content of any kind or some kind of car content here or there. Um, so today I'm actually really excited to share with you guys my very first real steel firearm. So um, this case that you're seeing in front of you is going to be a case for my M9 Beretta and um, really what I'm going to do today is just show you guys what my Beretta looks like and just share the news that again my very first firearm I've been waiting for this for a good while um, so I finally got a chance to go out and get one um, again there's gonna be more to come I'm just so just excited to kind of extend an extra leg to this channel with real steel firearms reviews and anything with maybe like shooting ranges and target practice of that nature so um, again, very excited to share this uh, this news with you guys. We'll kind of go from there, and I'll show you what's inside the box. Alrighty, so looking inside the case, um, again, what we're going to find with my particular model that I bought. Um, so for this particular one, I did buy it locally. Um, there's a few gun stores around where I live at. Um, the one in particular that I went to was Gat Guns. Um, very cool. Um, just area very cool staff I mean they really just are phenomenal and their facility is just so great um, and I ended up again choosing this particular pistol um, because you know I've always been a fan of Berettas as well and for me it kind of stuck out better than the actual Glock models which um, for those of you that have been fans of my channel for you know years and years now um, probably see me as a huge Glock fanatic so um, funny enough the Glock itself is kind of out of my price range a little bit as well which also kind of prevented me from getting that as my very first firearm um, but to be quite Quite honest I do not regret one bit with going with the uh, M9 Beretta because it is just absolutely awesome and it is just beautifully made um, again this is kind of once again mentioning it's my very first firearm so the excitement is there um, I'm really eager to um, take this thing into the range it still has not been fired yet um, so that's something that I actually plan on doing soon because um, this thing is I've only had it for a few days so um, it's still very new and then obviously in the case itself um, I did get two 15 round magazines um, so again very cool um, inclusion here with two magazines um, with one pistol and then some of the other things too that you'll end up finding um, if you do happen to purchase this specific uh, model pistol is of course some of the manuals and just advertisement and warnings and things of that nature which I'll kind of cover in a little more detail and um, show you a little bit more up close but anyway, this is essentially the case that um, you're going to see with this particular 9mm Beretta M9. So we'll dive in a little bit closer and kind of look at just some of the fine details of this pistol. Alright, so before we get into the actual pistol, I thought I'd share some of these um, handouts and little um, cards and instruction manuals that come with for the most part every firearm um, again this is with my very first one so I'm gonna kinda just share with you uh, what I ended up doing um, before I did anything as far as even handling the pistol so um, one thing here that um, is very interesting and it talks about some of the unfortunate um, situations that you can possibly find yourself in if you mishandle any firearm. So, um, again, this is something I'm seeing as looks like a warning from Massachusetts Attorney General, and it just highlights some of the things you know that can end up happening, like thefts or you know suicides and things of that nature. And again, really stressing some of the dangers of firearms if misused. So again, very important to look at a lot of these things before you consider picking up anything um, as far as your firearm goes. Um, then the other one too, again, there is a, a guarantee from Beretta. So it looks like there is, um, again, a blue little packet and there's just um, some guarantee information. So it's actually in Italian, which is cool for those of you that are not familiar with the a firearms manufacturer Beretta um, they are actually Italian so um, 
that is why a lot of this text is in Italian. So um, anyway, putting that to the side, um, some of the other things you'll get here. So this little baggie that has a Beretta pamphlet in it is actually um, the lock for the firearm. Again, which came included, which I thought was wonderful because you get this very cool pistol lock, which the way that this works is you rack the slide back and lock it, and then you slip this through the magazine, um, magazine, I guess, compartment or holder. Um, and then from there, um, you lock it through from the top of the slide. And I'll kind of, I can't verbally describe it well, but what I'm going to do is I will demonstrate that for you um, when we get to the pistol. Um, then the next thing, again, we have um, the NRA. Um, so again, some kind of um, discount to become a member. So very cool. Um, then this big um, postcard looking um, handout in orange, which again is telling you to read the manual, which of course is very recommended. Do not just go ahead and handle the firearm until you look at all of these documents. It's going to benefit you very much so, especially if you're a first time owner like myself. So um, as you can see, Beretta 92FS, um, it's a 9mm handgun. And again, with this one, it's going to provide all the very um, essential instructions, which here is that lock I was talking about. This uh, picture depicts exactly how it should be done. I apologize for not verbally describing it correctly, but anyway, this will provide you some of the details and some of the things to be mindful of when you are handling a real steel firearm. So um, again, I'm not gonna go into super specifics of the manual. This section of the video is more so to just let you know to pay attention to all the paperwork and all the guarantees, all the manuals that come with your firearm. Okay, so um, I wanted to bring the magazines up close a little bit so you can get a chance to see what they do look like. So here's one of the magazines. Again, you have some of the uh, stamping on here. Let me kind of focus this in a little bit more. So you can see that, um, there we go. So, so it's a nine millimeter caliber, again, Parabellum, uh, made in Italy, which is cool. Um, again, Pietro Beretta. Beretta is an Italian firearms manufacturing company. And again, in the back, you can see the bullet count. So they, they are 15 round magazines. Um, very cool, very sleek, nothing too exciting about them. Um, here's kind of the top so you can get an idea of what the tops of them look like. So very cool just uh, that it comes with two magazines with the purchase of your pistol. Super helpful. I was actually looking to buy more magazines thinking it only came with one. But since it came with two right out of the box, I was pretty content and I didn't need to buy any um, other magazines. But anyway, let's get into the actual pistol itself. Okay, so now we have the pistol itself. So again, I even though I've never fired this yet, um, I still have not had a chance to get to the range to test this thing out. Um, I have still double checked to make sure that it is unloaded. The magazine is out. The chamber is cleared. Again, it's on a safety. So again, you have to really be cautious anytime you're handling a firearm. Again, the statement is true uh, with treat your firearm as if it is loaded all the time um, when handling. Again, you want to be extremely cautious um, and not put your finger on the trigger um, when you're, um, again, handling this firearm. So here, again, you can get a chance to see it up close. You can get a chance to see the iron sights themselves. Again, very nice quality overall. Pistol is just absolutely great. You can see kind of at the bottom there. You can see the logo itself for Beretta. We'll zoom in just a tad there so you can kind of see it. Um, again, very nice quality. I'm going to see if I can maybe get these grips for some of the rubberized ones. If you guys have any suggestions, I'm definitely open to it because I think these are, uh, sounds like they are possibly plastic to me. Um, everything else is pretty standard. Um, you get some of the trademarking here that, again, it's... Uh, Made in the U.S., Beretta USA Corporation, Gallatin, Tennessee. Very cool. Um, then if we flip the pistol over a little bit, you have the U.S. 9mm M9. And then there's some, of course, coatings and serial numbers. And then really not too much. Um, there's, again, just the standard 
uh, field stripping of the pistol. When we're looking at the safety up here, which is very cool, um, if I flip the safety right now into fire mode, currently it was on safety, this actually acts as a decocker as well since this pistol is double action. So um, if I, for example, were to pull the hammer back, again, it is engaged. If I wanted to decock the pistol by flipping the safety on, it decocks the pistol and therefore it is not live. But if it's in fire mode and I choose to squeeze the trigger, again, keep in mind that this is of course not loaded. Just thought I'd say this in case anybody says anything. Um, if I were to squeeze the trigger, again, it's gonna act as a double action. So one more time. Okay, so I'm gonna just put the safety back on. Um, again, very cool, very exciting. Um, here's, again, the front portion of the pistol itself. Just very beautifully made, very beautifully done. Super excited. Um, the one thing, you know, me, for me coming from a lot of airsoft experience is still getting the hang of trying to rack the slide back. Um, the recoil spring is just very, very tough, which is expected. I'm not surprised by it, but it's just something to get used to. So if I were to rack the slide back, again, there's, there's a good amount of force there. So here's again a chance to see some of the interior, which I'll zoom in and kind of um, clear up a little bit so we can see. So again, there's the inner barrel there. And then you can see that the little ejector there to pull the casing out and of course the firing pin. So um, that kind of gives you a bird's eye view. And again, a bird's eye view of those iron sights and then the actual slide release. So I'm gonna just release that. And then again, ready to go. And now I'm just gonna Put it on safety so it decocks the hammer and now things are looking good so again super awesome super excited to do um, do some review videos i'm still kind of a novice as far as branding and um, that sort of thing so i'm going to kind of educate myself a little bit more and once i get some firing out of this thing i'll do a very in-depth review of this and then of course as far as shooting demonstrations go um, that's going to be at the firing range, which I'm super excited to go to. Um, I already had a chance to check it out in person, but before that was before I had my own personal firearm. So I'm um, looking forward to that um, when it comes time for getting this thing going. All right, so actually before I wrap up this video, um, what I'm actually going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate this lock for you again. So. This is super important, especially when it comes to storage or, you know, if you have, um, even if you have a gun safe, even if you have any kind of safe, you should still have it locked off, again, for very obvious reasons, as you can imagine. Um, so I really think this is great that they come included with these sort of things and that you don't have to buy them as separate add-ons. So the way that it would work is first, again, you want to check to make sure that the pistol is cleared, the magazine is out there's nothing in the pistol itself. So then at that point, you'd end up racking the slide. And now with the pistol open, we are going to, again, unlock this so it pretty much comes out. It's pretty long, actually. Um, it's designed to, again, fit through the whole pistol and it's fairly universal for a lot of other firearms. You slip it through the bottom and then out through the top, through the ejection port is where it's gonna end up coming out. And then from there, you'll just connect the two ends back together. You'll lock it and your keys. Again, you wanna make sure you don't store these with the pistol itself. So if you do have a safe, preferably you don't wanna keep those two items together. Um, again, in case of children, in case of anything like that to prevent anything from setting off the firearm. So when you're storing it, it should always be locked off, again, to prevent any type of incident, again, if you read the manuals, you'll understand, um, again, why this is very important. So, um, again, to close the video off, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, again, I'm really excited, very eager to, again, share the news with you guys and make more videos. Um, but anyway, this is just the beginning. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts, suggestions, maybe... Um, 
some kind of recommendation or something you could teach me, I'm definitely open for it, and I would highly suggest you guys to comment and let me know. Um, thanks again for watching. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video.